One normal day of West Ham is all I ask. Welcome back to another video. My name is Mike, so I'm a West Ham fan. And yeah, before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. And yeah, West Ham on international break. Please, give me a normal day, West Ham United. Um, and here's the thing. Mikel Antonio is out for two to three weeks. Uh, there was rumours about three months, nine months, you know, up to the end of the season, but I think he got lucky with the type of injury that it was. It was a medial ligament. So I think they had a feeling that he might have tore the ligament. Luckily, he can still play around this month, but you will miss the Tottenham game, which is literally the Antonio game. <clears throat> um, But yeah, he'll be eased in. He hasn't been his best this season, but it's good that it's not as bad because we've also got Jared Bowen out. Jared Bowen, um, we've talked about this before, but obviously there was a quote by Southgate saying it's not as bad as they feared uh, or something like that, or it's not that bad. But judging by what the reports are saying by Express Time employee, etc., you'll probably miss the Burnley game. But we need him for Palace and Tottenham. We need him for both of those games because those games will be tougher than the Burnley game. The Burnley game will be a bit more open. Maybe we'll have runners in behind. But Mohamed Kudus has also picked up an injury at West Ham. At Ghana, I should say. This international break's been shit. We're just an Edson Alvarez injury away from crisis or an Emerson injury away. Luckily, Paqueta is still fit. Emerson's still fit. Alvarez, Ward-Prowse, they're still fit. Um, but yeah, it's long, man. It's genuinely long. Like <sighs> the amount of attackers is like it's all happening in like one or two positions at the same time. This usually happens like like a couple of years ago when we had the whole um centre back issue when Ogbonna got injured against Liverpool, then Zuma got injured against Chelsea. We then had to play the open Dawson. There was a point in the season where we didn't have a centre back. We had Dawson as our only centre back. So we played Cresswell at a back four and Fredericks at left back against Arsenal. But he could have played Elise at the time, but we now know with what Moyes is like with youngsters. Um all of this, I mean Barber still won't get a chance probably. This is what it feels like. Um you, and for example, let's say Kudus, Bowen and Antonio all out. He'll play four downs on the right. He won't even play corner, he'll play four downs. Packets up in Rama. Or he'll play. I, I don't know. Actually, could, could he fit in Suchek with that? He might play Packets off the right. He might start playing Packets off the right and etc. But put it this way, Ben Rama's starting, so I'm not going to get my hopes up about Maxwell Corner, you know, who could play up front if you're not going to play me Barber. We need, we need pace. We need pace in our team. We need technical ability. Maxwell Corne has both. But he won't play. Neither will Mubama. I don't think the Kudus injury will be that bad though. Because it was thing of like late fitness test. And I also think he might have had someone in his ear at the club to say that. Pull out a training. Bowen's injured. So just, you know, pull out of it. Pull out of the game. He might still play against, I think it's Komodos they're playing. Uh, so if he does play that game, he'll hopefully will stay fit and be ready for sun, uh, Saturday. Because we're going to need him for the Tottenham game as well. We're going to need him for the Palace game as well. Palace at home and Tottenham away. It, it that, that doesn't look good after the Burnley game. And the Burnley game looks like a banana skin. We really need to turn up. Like, we really need to turn up. Uh and I saw the Premier League post about favourable fixtures. We really need to just fix up, man. Like, I know we won against Forest, but did, if you watch the game, that's not convincing at all. Like, that didn't convince me, put it that way. Oh, God. But, yeah, I just stress about this, this team because I just think when you get your hopes up, they just tear you down, and that just sums up West Ham. And we haven't had a bad international break in a while like this. And international break, is, this is probably one of the worst ones. It's been draining, it's been slow, it's been boring. But honestly, like, what do, what do we expect? Like, we've got quite a lot of internationals in our team in general now. So I guess we've got to expect more injuries. Uh, Paqueta will probably be back in the Brazil squad. 
uh, when the whole banning thing gets confirmed that he's not guilty because they can't prove anything. But Kunis is going to be out for AFCON, African Cup of Nations. So will Ben Rama, fair enough. We're not going to miss him. We're not going to miss again, in my opinion, either. I know he can play a good crossfield pass, but he hasn't been good this season. and We'll miss Corne, even though we don't play him anyway. So I guess Moyes won't miss him. But we'll have those four out around January. So we've got to fix that. We've got to... If we, like, if we don't invest in January, which it doesn't look like we will because of FFP and stuff, we're fucked, man. We're fucked. Like, there's no ambition. There will be no ambition for the season. There will be no hopes for the season. There will be one of them seasons where it kind of just peters out and then boys might leave at the end of the season. But yeah, that's it for now. That's the injury update. And yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. My social medias are GVO Mikes on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.